January 9th, the holy martyr Polyuctus. The Armenian town of Melitini was soaked in Christian blood, as was all the land of Armenia. The first blood shed for Christ in that town was that of St. Polyuctus, spilled in about the year 259 during the reign of Valerian. They were, there were in the town two friends who were officers, Nearchus and Polyuctus, the former baptized and the latter unbaptized. When a decree went out from the emperor that all Christians were to be killed, Nearchus prepared himself for death, though with great sorrow at not having brought his friend Polyuctus to the true faith. When Polyuctus became aware of Nearchus' sorrow, he promised to become a believer. On the following day, he related to Nearchus a dream that he had. The Lord himself had appeared to him in light, stripped his old clothing from him, clothed him in new and shining raiment, and set him upon the saddle of a winged horse. After relating this dream, Polyuctus went off to the town, tore up the royal decree on the persecution of Christians, and smashed many statues of idols. He was tortured and condemned to death. On the way to the place of execution, he caught sight of Nearchus in the crowd and called joyfully to him, Save your soul, my dear soul friend. Remember the vow of love confirmed between us. And St. Nearchus later ended a martyr for Christ in the fire. His feast is on April 22nd. to thee, O God, glory to thee, O heavenly King, the Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who art everywhere present and fillest all things, treasury of blessings and giver of life, come and abide in us and cleanse us from every impurity and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Mask the pardon our transgressions. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Received as the price of crowns of incorruption and life from thee, our immortal God. For since he possessed thy strength, he cast down the tyrants and wholly destroyed the demon strengthless presumption. O Christ God, by his prayer save our souls, since thou art merciful. That which had been hewn down cut through the undivided, and the sun saw land which it had not seen before. The water engulfed the cruel enemy, and Israel traversed the impassable, and chanted the hymn, Let us sing to the Lord, for gloriously is he glorified. O holy martyr Polyuctus, pray to God for us. As thou revels in the delight, thou didst greatly desire, O glorious Polyuctus, filled with the splendor of blessedness, and deemed worthy of the angelic choir. Preserve then the Lord thy festival while chanting to the Lord, for gloriously is he glorified. Holy martyr Polyuctus, pray to God for o us. O all-blessed Polyuctus, noble warrior of Christ, thy bright and auspicious memorial is risen up, 
filled with the utterly divine light and splendidly enlightening them that hymn thee with faith as they chant unto the Lord, for gloriously is he glorified. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Loved with the Spirit's might, O blessed one, and clothed to divine power, thou resolutely went forth to wrestle with the destroyer. And when thou hadst mightily cast him down, thou didst eagerly cry out, let us sing unto the Lord, for gloriously is he glorified. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O all Immaculate Virgin, Theotokos, while manifestly remaining an altogether blameless virgin, thou gavest birth in the flesh to him that was formerly without flesh, when in the riches of his compassion he became poor for our sakes, and saved them that cry out to him, for gloriously is he glorified. Lord, thou art the steadfastness of them that flee unto thee in faith. Thou art the light of all those in darkness, and my spirit doth sing thy praise. O holy martyr Polyuctus, pray to God for us. When thou was vouchsafed the divine vision of the Saviour from above, O Polyuctus, thou didst turn thy thinking into godly piety. Holy martyr Polyuctus, pray to God for Since us. Since thou didst desire victory, thou spats on all that is earthly, O glorious martyr, and thou wast deemed worthy of the heavenly inheritance. Both in the glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Yearning for the glory that passes understanding, thou didst set forth bravely, and thou overthrewest the inglorious worship of the idol. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Guide my steps for me, O Lady, that I may walk unto thy Holy Son by means of a praiseworthy manner of life. As a truly good soldier of Christ, the God of all, thou wast made strong in his grace, and O Polyuctus most wise, through Nearchus thy most faithful fellow warrior, thou didst completely give thyself to the love of Christ thy God in great bravery, O martyr. And after lawfully striving, thou wast deservedly crowned by the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Thou who wondrously clothest thyself about with light, when thou hadst covered thyself with the Jordan streams like a cloak, thou didst fashion Adam's nature new again therein, which through its wicked and perverse disobedience was broken in pieces, O divine word. Hence we all praise thee and glorify thy most venerable epiphany. Thou art my strength, O Lord, thou art my power, thou art my God, thou art my joy, who without leaving the bosom of the Father has visited our lowliness. Wherefore with the prophet Habakkuk I cry unto thee, glory to thy power, O thou who lovest mankind. O holy martyr Polyuctus, pray to God for us. Through a godly confession, O most excellent Polyuctus, thou didst offer thyself unto the Master, accepting to be slain for him because of thy longing, and thenceforth made free of every stain, thou cries unto the Saviour, Glory to thy power, O friend of man. Holy martyr Polyuctus, pray to God for the us. The sweetness of piety became delightful unto thee, thou tookst wing on divine love, wounded with pure and sincere longing, and set aflame with ardent love for the kingdom on high, thou sings unto the Master, Glory to thy power, O friend of man. Holy martyr Polyuctus, pray to God for us. Bound to Nearchus with a concord stronger than nature, and instructed by his words unto the godly faith of the Trinity, O godly-minded martyr Polyuctus, thou was accounted worthy of the truly desirable and longed-for splendor of the martyr. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thou art numbered together with the hosts of martyrs, O all-wise Polyuctus, 
Thou hast received the unshakable kingdom, entering therein as a newly slaughtered victim, still dripping with blood, and led in unto joy that has no successor, and light that has no evening, and gaining a great glory as a possession. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Becoming like unto those on earth, the celestial one made them celestial, and having suffered in a passable nature, he granted participation in divine dispassion. Therefore, knowing the maiden without experience of wedlock, who gave him birth to be the Theotokos, we glorify her. Wherefore hast thou turned thy face from me, O light never waning? And why has a strange darkness covered me, wretch that I am? But turn me and guide my steps to the light of thy commandments, I pray. O holy martyr Polyuctus, pray to God for us. That thou mightst attain to everlasting rest, O most blessed, thou didst overlook the delightful things of life, and natural kinship, and revelling, and glory, and life itself, and thou fellst not short of thy hope. O holy martyr Polyuctus, pray to God for us. Initiated into the divine mysteries of divine vision, thou didst set out for thy final struggles with subtle determination, O Polyuctus, and thou wast shown to be a trophy-bearer, and was vouchsafed, undefiled crown. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. By nature possessed of a mind that hates evil, thou didst piously reject the most godless worship, and didst overturn the vain gods, aflame with zeal for true religion, and filled with God-inspired eagerness, O all-celebrated Polyuctus. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. In accord with the words of thy lips, O all-pure virgin, we call thee blessed, for the Lord has indeed done great things to thee, and magnified thee, and shown thee to be the mother of God in truth, by being born of thy womb. An abyss of sins and storm of offenses troubles me and violently draws me into the pit of despair. But do thou thyself stretch out to me thy mighty hand, as thou didst unto Peter, and lead me up out of the pit of corruption. O holy martyr Polyuctus, pray to God for us. Thou wast deemed worthy of the order of the angels, O all-praiseworthy martyr, for manifestly displaying angelic zeal, therefore with them fervently make entreaty, O blessed Polyuctus, that those who hymned thee be delivered from temptation. Holy martyr Polyuctus, pray to God for us. With those whom thou didst love, thou slept the dead in sleep, when thy head was cut off by the sword, O much contending athlete, and now thou hast inherited an undefiled inheritance in the heavens, where thou dwells with the martyr. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. By partaking of the sufferings of the Saviour, who suffered the passion of the cross for our sakes, thou wast conformed thereto, O blessed Polyoctus, and now, as he promised, thou reigns with him unto infinite eternity. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Since thou hast sympathy, as having given birth to the man befriending word, save us from a violent and terrible calamity, for we the faithful have thee alone as invincible protection, O all pure lady. When the Saviour bowed his head within the Jordan, there he crushed the dragon's heads. As for his trophy-bearing saint, when Polyuctus's head was cut off, he put to shame the deceiver and wily foe. In the Jordan River, the Creator of all, bowing his head, receives baptism. And having invisibly crushed the heads of the dragons, he has granted strength unto mortals against that high-minded one, who formerly in paradise tripped up Adam by the eating of the tree, and contrary to Adam's expectation, cast him down into death. Therefore now this athlete Polyuctus, who bowed not to the fawning of a woman, has staunchly striven and has stretched out his hand, and when it was cut off, he put to shame the deceiver and wily foe. He put to shame the deceiver and wily foe. 
Oh. Once in Babylon the fire stood in awe of the condescension of God, wherefore the youths dancing with joy stepped in the furnaces in a meadow chanted, Blessed art thou, O God of our fathers. O holy martyr Polyuctus, pray to God for thou us. Thou didst show thy might unto thy servant, O master, for this cause he eagerly came, self-called unto the struggles, and becoming a victor he chanted, Blessed is the God of our Father. Holy martyr Polyuctus, pray to God for us. Thy memorial, O martyr, is risen up, all auspicious and elect, for it brings with itself the light of thy master's epiphany, and illuminates them that cry with faith, Blessed is the God of our Father. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thou hast found the riches none may steal, the dignity that endures, and thou hast received the glory that fails not, but endures everlastingly forever. O marvellous Polyoctus, as thou dost shout, Blessed is the God of our Father, both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Virgin, having conceived the Son, who is perceived as ever united with the unoriginate Father, thou gavest birth to him incarnate, that he might save them that cry with faith, Blessed is the God of our Father. The Chaldee tyrant, mad with rage, fired his furnace of blazing flame, seven times more hot against the worshippers of God. But seeing them kept in safety by a power greater than his, he then cried aloud, Ye children, bless the Creator, the Saviour and Redeemer. O ye priests, sing his praises. Exalt him, O ye people, to all the endless ages. O holy martyr Polyuctus, pray to God for us. Thy much desired memorial is sacredly celebrated today, O prize winner Polyuctus, martyr of Christ, for thou became a well-pleasing and acceptable sacrifice unto Christ, who was slain in sacrifice for your sake. Him do the children bless, the priests praise, and the people supremely exalt to all the endless ages. Holy Martyr Polyuctus, pray to God for Since us. Since thou didst display upon the earth an athlete's resistance unto blood, O athlete Polyuctus, thou hast taken up thy dwelling in a bridal chamber, in the heavens baptized in the fount of thine own blood, and thou dost sing, You priests bless the Master, exalt him, O you, o you peoples, to all the endless ages. We bless Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the Lord. Employ thy martyric boldness, O glorious Polyoctus, and raise up my soul which is slain in offenses. Bring it into good order by the divine commandments in all proper dignity, and turn it back to virtue that it may cry, You priests, bless the Master, exalt him, O you people, to all the endless ages. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Rejoice, thou through whom we have obtained eternal joy. Rejoice, thou who has dispelled the dejection of Eve, and has turned Adam's dismay into radiant cheer. Rejoice, thou who gave birth unto God in a body, O Virgin Theotokos, protection of the faithful, who supremely exalt thee unto all the endless ages. Terror filled every ear that learnt the unheard of condescension of God the Word, how of his own good will the Lord Most High came down to such lowliness as from a virgin's womb to take a body, becoming man. Hence we, the faithful flock, magnify the undefiled Mother of our God. O holy martyr Polyuctus, pray to God for us. Come now, you lovers of the martyrs, and let us praise the martyr crowned of God, whom the Most High has jointly glorified with his epiphany, that venerable day, the namesake of light, and whom he has honoured and crowned and adorned with God-given virtue. Holy Martyr Polyuctus, pray to God for with us. With the streams of thy martyric blood that poured abroad, thou didst drown the utterly inimical foe, the artificer of wickedness, but watering therewith the Church of Christ, thou hast made her bright, 
O blessed of God, and with faith she ever calls thee blessed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Be thou unto me a defender, O martyr, rescuing me from diverse temptations and tribulations, and break the bonds of heresy, and by thine intercessions deliver from hard imprisonment him that praises thee with a pure mind, O all-famed Polyocto. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O all-pure Virgin, thou gavest birth to Christ, the sum and fulfilment of the law and the prophets, who for the sake of the infinite sea of his compassion was well pleased to become man for us from thee, and has saved them that ever magnify thee in faith. When thou hadst been made one with God, O most blessed Polly, you through heartfelt prayer with all thy soul, thou didst gain the much longed for riches of heaven for thyself, and its glory and its light. And thou hast gained a divine crown from the hand of the Most High with the choirs of the martyrs. Being a martyr for truth's sake, Wisdom, most holy mother of God, save us. More honourable than the cherubim, and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim, thee who without corruption gave us birth to God the Word, the very Theotokos, thee do we magnify. Glory to you, Christ God, O hope, glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Holy Father, bless. May he who deigned to be baptized by John in the Jordan for our salvation, Christ, O true God, with the prayers of his holy and all pure mother, with the prayers of St. John the Baptist, and all the holy and all praised apostles, with the power and under the protection of the holy and life-giving cross, and all the holy bodiless powers of heaven, with the prayers of our fathers among the saints, Ninian and Cuthbert, the bishops of God, Sisoes the great, Brandon the navigator, Oran of Iona, Columba of Iona, Kenneth, Ronan, Moluag, all the saints of all these islands, protectors of our monastery and our community, with the prayers of the holy martyr Polyuctus of Melitini in Armenia, with the prayers of our righteous father Eustratius the wonder worker, with the prayers of the holy martyr Partena of Macedonia, with the prayers of Saint Philon the wonder worker, whose memory we also keep this day with the prayers of our fathers, Athenian, Bishop of Lindisfarne, Adrian, Abbot of Canterbury, and the Haramat of Philip, Metropolitan of Moscow, and all of those whose memory we keep this day, and the prayers of the holy ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us, for he is good and he loves mankind. Amen. But the prayers of our holy fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, O God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen.